Welcome to DHS Informatics. In this session, I covered cloud computing in a simple way. It will be useful for beginners. At present, technique technology, we can't avoid the word cloud computing. Cloud computing is a booming, and all are migrating their application into cloud we will see what are the things needed in cloud computing the agenda in this session is first we are going to see what are the types of applications are there at present in market web application architecture cloud architecture cloud services types of cloud formation test cases these are the things i am going to cover in this session before entering into main topics, I request you to press the red color button below this video if you are not subscribed our channel and press the bell, like, bell icon so that you will get our next updates quickly. Thank you. At present, we are widely using three types of application, window based application, web based application, mobile application. Window based application means for example Word, Excel, PowerPoint or lot of building applications in a supermarket are window based application. That means we have to install that software in each and every system. It may be a laptop or desktop we have to install. That, those are called window based application. Usually window based applications are two tier or one tier. Uh, two tier application we call it as a client server architecture we will call it. Web based application. Web based application are like Facebook, Google, Yahoo, these are web based application. We call this application as a three tier or n tier architecture. It is called MVC architecture, model view controller architecture we are going, uh, we are telling. And mobile application, mobile application you know uh, WhatsApp, uh, Instagram, lot of things we are using in the mobile application. These are the widely we are using the these three types of application. Now, cloud computing why widely replacing the web based application. Why it is uh, replacing the web based application we have to see first. To understand that we have to understand the web based application architecture. It is a web based application architecture. There is a one server. In that server only Tomcat will be running. You can see you no know, TC. TC is a Tomcat is running. Over the Tomcat, JTU application is running. It is in Java platform, it is a Tomcat. You are doing it in a .NET, it is an IIS, it will come. It will be default, but one web server will be there. Over that only application is running. That server is connected with a network. That network may be a WAN or LAN, wide area network or local area network. To that network, what are the systems are connected? Those systems are we calling as a client. That clients can able to access the application which is running on the server through the browser. In a browser, you are typing www.facebook.com, uh, google.com. No? So that that request will be go to the server. Server will be respond and send the login page. That login page, we call it as a JSP page. From the login page, you are typing the user ID, password and uh, pressing that login button. No? Then that uh, a request will go to the Tomcat. Tomcat will call one servlet program in the JTU application. That servlet program will send the request to one Java program. That Java program is connected with the backend database that it will fetch based on your user ID, it will fetch the password and verify whether the received password and the database passwords are same. It is same means it will instruct the things to the servlet. Yes, both are uh, uh, same or it is differ. Based on that, that servlet will take the decision whether allow the uh, application to enter into the home page or error page. Like that it will happen. Now the front end login page is you know that is called we call this in JSP Java server page. It is called view. Whereas the servlet is called controller and the Java code which is verifying the password no it is called model. Okay. So that it is called MBC architecture. In another simple way I can tell you. Suppose you are uh, studying in your college. Your father want to meet means where you will come. He will come to the reception no. The reception is called view. 
Okay, then that request will go to your HOD, you know, he is a controller. You will send the attender to bring, you know, he is called model. Like that, we can able to assume the thing. This is the advantage of the web-based application. Web-based application advantage is it is installed in one server. We can able to access in a n number of client system. That is the advantage. This advantage becomes disadvantage when more people are entering. For example, <clears throat> whenever your uh, uh, university is publishing the result, what is happening? your server is hanging why it is hanging the server will have the limited capacity uh, for example under connection your at a time thousand students are entering it will not able to respond so that only uh, it is a uh, server is become uh, very slow and sometimes crash also happen okay how to overcome this disadvantage for that only we are entering into the cloud computing you can see that cloud computing architecture here the gateway server is there in the gateway server in the middle one application will be running for each uh, location maybe i can able to give for the india i can keep one server and uh, for us i can keep one server for london i can keep one server in that in that server also same application running for example you are typing www.google.com okay you can see the address bar from india earlier it will be changed to code.in it will change from london you are typing google.com it will go to code.uk it will go from new york it will go to code.us code that means for each country they are keeping one one server in that server that a particular application is running so that the client systems are connected with the gateway from the client only you are typing www.google.com it will go to the gateway server there is one special function called ip lookup ip lookup means it will identify this ip address is from which country based on that it will redirect to the particular server so that it will be fast so that load balancing is happening it will be faster you can consider your university result system also each district your uh, university is giving one known server based on your registration number they will identify your district code and send it to your district server you will get the quick result no that is the advantage of the cloud computing now what are the services are there in cloud computing there are four main services are there now they are telling many other services but four are fundamental that is a IAAS infrastructure as a service PAAS platform as a service SAAS software as a service SAAS storage as a service okay now what is this thing okay now consider uh, you and me are meeting in Indiana on coffee shop okay you are telling that uh, sir i developed a uh, one uh, new software i like to show the demonstration like that you are telling that software is in your pen drive so that i'll ask you to show the demo means you can't able to show what you need you need your own laptop so that i will purchase and give you a laptop to you i'll ask you to show the demo that is called infrastructure as a service that the hardware you are requiring no that is called infrastructure as a service okay once i given that the Ha, laptop you can able to show the demo means no you need the platform that means the tomcat java mysql everything has to be installed no that is called platform as a service once you i will install that platform and give to you then you 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 deploy your code on that platform and show the demo to me then i will tell you oh it is excellent shall i use your software for my office purpose i'm asking you are saying okay means that is called software as a service then for that gmail is a one software as a service in the gmail you are sending an attachment no that attachment has to be stored in a google drive no that become as a storage as a service so that these are the four services are important in their cloud services okay now <clears throat> type of cloud formation there are three types of cloud formations are available hybrid cloud public cloud and private cloud okay consider uh, i am doing a software development I will uh, instruct uh, all my uh, developers once you complete the source code development store it in a google drive so that what they will do they will store it in a google drive okay but there is a danger no because somebody will hack my account because uh, uh, it is a uh, cloud storage only anybody can able to act from anywhere in this world they can take my code no so that what i am planning i am keeping a one web server in my office so that whenever they are uploading the file that file will be go to 
the office web server in that office web server that will be encrypted and it will be pushed to the google uh, uh, storage that is a google drive it will store now my office server will do the en encryption work while they are downloading it will do the decryption work that is called private server it will be for my office purpose only whereas the google drive is a public cloud so that the storage will happen in the outside we are mixing the two types of server public server and the private server this type of formationing of the cloud is called hybrid cloud what is cloud cloud is nothing but an more than one server connected together to perform a task in an efficient way so that we have to use multiple server some few servers are in private few servers are public that is called hybrid cloud it is the best adapted thing. Majority of the companies are using the hybrid cloud only nowadays. Okay. Then what is public cloud? That encryption decryption program, I can store it in a Amazon web server. Okay. Web services. I will store it in a Amazon web server. So that whenever my developer sending the code, it will go to the Amazon web services. It will be encrypted and go and store it in a Google Drive. That is called public cloud because both the servers are outside. Similarly, private cloud means what is the thing means? I am in encryption decryption also happening in a, my office server and the storage also happening in my office file server. That is called private cloud. Like that, three types of cloud formations are available. Test case. That uh, test case is a secure document storage system. I explain, you know, that is hybrid cloud manner also we can able to do or uh, we can able to do it in a private cloud also or public cloud also we can do the thing so that in this thing there are many uh, things are the ABE attribute based encryption they will tell when I am storing the document only I can able to set an attribute this document can able to download by whom whether the, my Java students can able to download or Python students can able to download I can able to set the access control like that encryption technology will be there and the while the, my students are downloading the file they can verify whether the uploaded document downloaded document is the same or it is a change like that we can do we can so go with the same model for the question paper storage uh, our notes will be storing that uh, training content sharing uh, even uh, that uh, publishers and subscriber times of india india today magazines they can able to store it and retrieve like that lot of thing we can able to do with the secure document storage system then cloud load balancing system i given you an example now about that uh, google you are typing google.com it will go dot co dot in uh, it will go to uh, co dot us co.uk that is called geographical based load balancing system we can go with a geographical based also we can do without a geography also we can able to do the load balancing system this load balancing system will comes under infrastructure as a service and platform as a service whereas the secure document storage will come uh, come under the software as a service and storage as a service this is the main different two categories of the projects majority of the peoples are doing now Thanks for listening. Handle your uh, academic project easily. For more details, visit our website www.dhsinformatics.com. For any queries, feel free to call us on 9886-92401 or 9845166723. If you like this video, press like button. You want to share anything, place it in a comment. And you are not subscribed to this uh, our channel, I request you to subscribe. Thank you for listening. Have a good day.